Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some tips to remember lessons and formulas, starting with the tip number one. Have an idea of the lesson. Read the lesson once or twice to gain some idea about it. The reason why I'm telling you to do this because it would be easier when you already know how the lesson is going to be. When you have a glance of it and when you find the introduction, it will be more easier for you to understand better while the teacher is teaching or when you're studying for any test or something like that. It would be as if you're revising something and don't worry if you're unable to understand it completely. Reading the lesson thoroughly avoids getting confused while studying it again. For me, this tip has helped a lot in studies and I hope it works for you as well. Tip number two. Find the keywords. Keywords are short and they are the main words in the sentence. Read the small paragraphs, underline the keywords and try to understand the meaning of them. If you can't remember it, then write the meaning of it near the word or in any other book. You can use pencils or any other highlighters or color pencils. That's all up to you. I underline all the words that I feel is important. If you have a sentence that is important, you can mark it as important instead of underlining the whole sentence. Tip number three. Use color pencils for different terms or any other color. What I mean in this is that history, subjects like history have a lot many uh, different divisions in that like um, the name of the year, the name of the person or the name of the date, something like that. I use a particular color for the name of the year, for the name of the person and for the name of the date. For example, if it is a um, name of a person, I use red or if it is a name of the year or the year I use pink or any something like that. This is more catchy to your eyes. When you see the color, you get to know that, oh, this is the year. Oh my God, this is the name. Yeah, so making this is quite easy for you to just have a quick glance at the last minute while you're revising for your test or exam. You can also draw boxes if you want or you can also use pencils and if you have a column that is um, next to your page or if you can draw a column next to your page, um, write what is important, write the important points if you want to. It's up to you. Tip 4. This is my favorite and it is a usage of flashcards. There are two flashcards that I do. The method one is just tearing a paper, writing the definition, I mean the writing the term in the front and the definition in the back. That's quite easy actually. The second one is when I do I have a lot of time. And this is the method two. So you may be having a doubt that how to do this. I actually um write the question, write the subject, then the question, and then when you open the page, you can see the name. And I also stick a cello tape behind so that I can stick it wherever you want or wherever I want. Yeah. So how to make this? Take a paper and fold it into half. Um, yeah. Now fold it into half and tear it. And then again fold it and tear it. And now fold it and make a mark of the half and then fold both of them equally so that you can open and close just like that. I hope you understand. And I guess you have understand by understood by now. I am using a sketch pen for writing the subject and a, a black pen for writing the question. I have actually written science here, but it's actually geography. I'm sorry for that. And I'll write the answer over there like that. And this is the question. What is Sial or Sial? It is silica plus aluminium. That is the answer. So I put it like that. 
it's ready and I suggest you to put a tape use a cello tape for this method so that you can stick your flashcards wherever you want in your doors or in your mirrors mostly you have to stick in your mirrors because that's the mostly seen part I have stuck in my door for now for just a sample Tip number five is drawing or creating flowcharts and mind maps. This is very easy for you. You can do this uh, when you're free and you can draw it roughly. I made a flowchart that is colorful like this for my convenience. And flowcharts are very important. These can give you quick revisions and the glances at the last minute and these can be seen as a revision to you. I hope you like this idea. Tip number six. This tip is for any subject with calculations or formulas like mathematics and physics. So what you gotta do this is simple. Take a note of it. Now, this subject has so many formulas and calculations. To remember it, it is a bit hard. So you can write down the formulas that are difficult and confusing to you in a sticky note or a sheet of paper. This is a simple task. You can do it whenever you're free or whenever you do your homework or any time that you are comfortable. So all you have to do is do this and have some motivations that you need and um, practice a lot every day. So we are going to come up to the end of the video. I hope you enjoy this video and I feel that some tips are helpful for you. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.